Hello and welcome to ET Auto. Today we are at the Malur town of the southern state of Karnataka and taking you through behind the scenes of building and manufacturing a cargo electric three wheeler at Alti Greens production facility. Founded in 2013, Bangalore-based Altigreen was earlier working out of a 5,000 square feet space in Whitefield and producing about 200 units per month. It has now expanded to a new facility in Malur which is spread across 3 lakh square feet and has a capacity of producing 4,500 units in a month. Currently, the plant has one line of production with 24 stations and the operations are largely manual. The company said it has invested about 80 crores for setting up the new plant. The investment comes as part of securing the latest funding of 300 crores backed by investors like Reliance New Energy and a few others. Altigreen took nine years to develop its first and only product in the market, Neve, which is a cargo electric three-wheeler in the L5 category priced at 4 lakh rupees post the government subsidy. With the expansion of the new production facility, the company is now focusing on bringing its next product in the domestic market and beginning sales to the international markets. So now we are in talks with Mr. Amitabh Saran, CEO and co-founder and Mr. Shalendra Gupta, the CFO and co-founder. Hello sir. Sirs, we see the new production facility here and uh, we see one line as operational, right? And you have plans to bring two more lines in this facility. So could you like give us a hint of, you know, how many products are you bringing up? Uh, how many products are coming out of the factory every day and, you know, on an average uh, in a month? So the capacity of the factory is going to be at the level of about 55,000 vehicles on a yearly basis. Uh, each line constitutes about 1,500 vehicles on a monthly basis. Um, so on a yearly basis, it comes to about that much. Right now, we are making one product, uh, which is our cargo vehicle. It comes in various variants. Over the course of the next year, you're going to see many products come out of it, all of which are being manufactured from the same premises. And they will be both in the fast charge space, in the passenger vehicle space. So there'll be multiple variants, all of them from the same factory unit. Yeah, sir, coming to the product por portfolio, you also have uh, partnered with Exponent Energy for one of the products. So could you like share like what products are coming up next year and probably the timeline, when can the market expect them coming? So our Exponent product, which is the fast charge product, that is already type approved and it is going to be launched this month itself. It's going to be out in the market. Our passenger variant is probably sometime uh, early next year is when it is slated to, uh, to be launched. Future products that you will start seeing are going to come out in the... Possibly in every quarter you will probably see one product come out, a different variant of products in the three-wheeler space. Also, uh, you say that you have uh, made this product specifically to the India markets. So, are you also thinking of exports and probably, you know, which markets are you considering for that? So, we've always maintained that any product that we've made in India is intended for India as well as the emerging markets. What are the emerging markets? South Asia, Africa and South America. The reason we say this is because the needs of this geography are very similar. Very, very similar in terms of needs, in terms of drive performance, in terms of the kilometers they drive and all that. Also in terms of the environmental conditions that exist in these places, the kind of abuse that vehicles go through in these cases. So whenever we launch, we will launch in these different geographies. Um, we do expect to possibly start um, the first launch abroad will be possibly sometime in 2023, possibly in South Asia. Uh, sir, you also mentioned that this factory, you know, uh, you don't want to make a mega factory somewhere and you want to build up multiple factories in uh, different parts of India. So, any plans regarding that? Any any location that might uh, you might have, uh, you know, zeroed in on? Yeah, so we are expecting our second factory, which should be around similar size with similar capacities to come up uh, most likely north or northwest India. Uh, we've not uh, zeroed in on a location yet. We are still uh, discussing with the different people uh, and different states. Uh, we hope we'll be able to take a decision on that in the next six months. Also, sir, your last investment was uh, 300 uh, crores, right? Uh, which Through which you built up this, uh, you know, which was uh, uh, help in building up this facility. So when can we see the next investment coming at, and probably like what are your plans regarding the same? So we are all in the process of raising more capital. Uh, I think we are 
looking at potentially raising about a thousand crores and we expect that to happen by june july of 2023 is when we expect to be in a position to raise it we obviously have very detailed plans shalendra um, and us we together as a team we've been able to make very very detailed plans on what would be the use of these funds how do we intend to use it both in india both for international expansion both for new products that will come out perhaps more wheels getting added beyond three wheels so a lot of those kinds of things we have very detailed plans on that because of which we started looking at potentially doing this thousand crore range i think we should be able to do that by about june july of next year and also a lot of r and d uh, will be investing in you know altigreen as a company has always been uh, technology focused r and d focused uh, we are our history is uh, that we are you know focused on doing r and d within the country and we want to continue on that we want to continue to be at the leading edge of technology for electric vehicles in the country so we will be investing in that as well so uh, since you seem very bullish about like growing and expanding like uh, what kind of demand are you uh, getting in the electric three wheeler segment right now from the domestic market if you could like give us a gist of that sure so you know if you look at it from a demand side you probably will let us trade the reason why i'm saying this is that there are about 1.3 million three wheelers manufactured in india every year these are all fossil fuel vehicles 1.3 million what you see you know a few tens of thousands of vehicles that are being sold in the electric vehicle segment are very very tiny numbers right this is not a market that is driven by any problem with demand it is only a supply centric market right now there are problems with respect to you know semiconductor the shortage availability you know other kinds of things including batteries including cells that are becoming a little bit of a problem but if you exclude that this is a market that is totally driven by demand there is no issue whatsoever in as, as in the form of demand that we see for good engineered well engineered electric vehicles that can compete with fossil fuel vehicles so i'm not even stating at any uh, point to say that kuch bhi chalega nahi chalega people are used to diesel and electric vehicles will have to compete with them give them good vehicles what does the customer want he wants a vehicle that serves his needs whether it's a personal vehicle whether it's a commercial vehicle the needs are different but the vehicle has to serve that needs on a commercial vehicle and keep in mind all three wheelers are commercial vehicles whether they're carrying cargo or passengers they are commercial vehicles today for our vehicle the cost of ownership for our altigreen electric vehicle is less than 50% of the cost of a diesel vehicle so there is no reason for a customer to want to buy a diesel vehicle it's as he, as amitabh said it's entirely a supply side issue as the supplies ramp up they will be lapped up so coming to what you just mentioned do you also think the market leader in the three wheeler segment has not yet entered the electric mobility so is that serving as an advantage to you or probably the incumbents are not really you know bullish about i mean there are players in electric mobility three wheelers but it's not that much right now so do you think that is serving as an advantage for you right now i think it's clear okay is it serving as an advantage sure it is will that be a sustainable advantage that i keep thinking ki these guys will never enter the space no it's not going to be we have to stand on our own merit so when we create a vehicle it has to be a vehicle that can stand in competition with an existing incumbent diesel vehicle whether it's diesel petrol lpg cng whatever it might be it has to be able to compete whether it competes in price it competes in performance whether it competes in looks in terms of comfort maybe in terms of vibration in terms of noise in terms of all kinds of things right in terms of Four rupees versus ninety-two paisa. There are a lot of reasons why people have to adopt this, and once they start seeing it, it's a nice, comfortable vehicle, strong vehicle, and carry more load. I can earn more money in something like this. Why not? Others will also come out with similar kinds of things. There is never a single player in the market. There will be a lot of players in the market. So we will obviously hope, as the early guys to have entered the space, that we will obviously continue to mean try and maintain that lead. take leadership position of course why will we not all right fair fair enough fair enough all right thank you so much for talking to et auto thank you